हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इशू द इशू इज लाइक दिस दैट इफ द एसएससी फील्स दैट द एसएससी इज नॉट एबल टू फाइल हिज और हर रिटर्न ऑफ इनकम इन ए पर्टिकुलर फॉर्म एंड इफ द एसएससी वांट्स दैट ही शुड फाइल हिज रिटर्न ऑफ इनकम इन ए पर्टिकुलर फॉर्म सो वेदर द एसएससी हैज ए राइट टू अप्रोच टू द High court through a writ petition that the High court should direct the CBDT to make the appropriate changes in the form. This issue was taken by the Honorable Madras High Court in the case of Mahesh Family Trust and others versus Income Tax Officer and others. The case is reported in 459 ITR at page number 739. The matter has been decided by Honorable Madras High Court and the date of the judgment is. 30th March 2023. In the present case, the assessment year involved are assessment year 2019-20, 21-22, 22-23. 20, the assessee is a family trust who is claiming the status of discretionary trust. The assessee filed a writ petition to issue a mandamus writ to the Income Tax Officer, Joint Director, Systems, Central Board of Direct Taxes. to make the appropriate changes <clears throat> in the form ittl2 so that the assessee can file his return of income as a status of individual when the honorable court took up this matter in the writ petition it was the opinion of the honorable court that there is rule 112 which gives the authority to the central board of direct taxes to prescribe forms and take the grievances of the assessee in regard to that the court said that it is not the domain of the court to structure the forms as applicable to the specific assessees and the court also said that if the court will issue the direction to the central board of direct taxes to make the appropriate changes as desired by the assessee then it will affect the 2 crore assessees who are individuals and in the undivided families who are using this form the court said that it is the prerogative of the central board of direct taxes to formulate the forms and to notify the forms and before notifying the forms the central board of direct taxes also seeks the recommendations from the society at a large so the court cannot give the direction to the central board of direct taxes to make the changes in the form friends my point of view is that with due respect to the madras high court that if we write something to the central board of direct taxes then there are very thin chances that they took up the matter of the assessees or the professionals there are some really the apprehensions of the assessees in filing the return of income for example in any of the form whether it is itr 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 <laughs> that there is no column where the assessee can give remarks re regarding the return filing of the assessee sometimes the assessee feels that the assessee is not able to convey to the department about the status of the assessee about the income of the assessee about the various circumstances of the assessee so there should be one remarks column which should allow the assessee to give the additional information which the assessee is not able to give through the figures in the form apart from this one issue is there which the assessee always feel the difficulty in case of the sale of the agriculture assets there is no column in the returns when the property when the property sold is agriculture land then there is no column to give the details of this exempt income so in a series of cases it may happen that the assessee feels that the forms are not appropriate so if there will be remarks column or the comments column then at least the assessee will be in a position to put this thing through the return of income but at the end in this case the madras high court rejected the writ of the assessee on the ground that it is not the prerogative of the high court to issue the directions to the central board of direct taxes 
टू प्रेस्क्राइब द फॉर्म और टू मेक द चेंजेस इन द फॉर्म सो द कोर्ट सेट दैट द एस एस सी हेज मूव टू द सेंट्रल बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस एंड कीप एंड कीप इज एप्रीहेंशन बिफोर द सेंट्रल बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो वंस अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग द नेम ऑफ द केस द नेम ऑफ द केस इज महेश फैमिली ट्रस्ट एंड अदर्स वर्सेज इनकम टैक्स ऑफिसर एंड अदर्स एंड दिस केस हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड इन फोर फिफ्टी नाइन आई टी आर एट पेज and the matter has been decided by madras high court and the date of the judgment is 30th march 2023